Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a game from Graves, and uh, Graves is played by Tap the Bear, and I'm probably not going to pronounce that name anymore now, because I, <laughs> I think it's a little bit ridiculous. Anyway, there's another guy named Ted, Tap the Boar here in the game, so that's kind of strange to see, but I guess they're friends, and probably that sell as well. Anyhow, we will be seeing what they can make out of this. Hang on, um, that was not the right one. That was the right one. Um, so we have an Udir here standing around, a Vigard there, and a Mordekaiser there. So there was a Clairvoyance on this team, one on this team, although we haven't seen one yet. Anyhow, we're just going to wait a bit, see what happens. I'm not sure how they are going to divide these lanes. Oh, the Udir is going jungle, obviously. The um, yeah, then it's kind of obvious. <laughs> so I was thinking one of these two was going jungle, but I don't know why I thought that. But well, whatever. Obviously, Graves and Soraka are good mid. Uh, our bottom, sorry, and uh, that's exactly where they will go. So, yeah, Vigar against Galio mid. Uh, we've seen a lot of Galio picks after IEM. It's kind of annoying, just like we've seen a lot of uh, AD Cannon picks. Oh, let me show you this, so you can figure out what he's doing with his runes. If you're interested, Anyhow, yeah, we've um, we've seen a lot of uh, of the same picks. Uh, we also see a lot of support Nunu now. Um, just because the the pros can make it work doesn't mean it's a good build for you. You have to practice these things. Uh, many of those uh, matchups kind of depend on your team, such as Galio mid. Uh, well, Galio mid is obviously very easy to pull off because you're building magic resist against an AD caster. Uh, yeah, it's kind of easy, but you're going to lack damage. You have no damage in the end on your AD caster because you have no AD caster. So basically, either your jungler has to be AD or your top lane has to be AD, uh, AP. <sighs> Either your top or your uh, jungler has to be AP, uh, so that you can make up for the lack of um, of damage in the mid lane. Because Galio doesn't do a whole lot of damage. He's just he just builds um, magic resistant armor and plays a tanky role in the team. Obviously, he can do some damage, but it's not like you can count on him to carry your game. In fact, he cannot carry your game at all. Even if he gets super fed, uh, there's no way he can kill your whole team or the whole enemy team. So you still need to have, uh, well, one of the other carries basically help him out there with the damage. Obviously, Galio is a pretty strong champion, and we can see that here once again. Because, well, he's pushing the lane, um, but he cannot get ganked very easily. He has a nice shield, he has. Uh, well, he has a lot of tankiness to his build normally, but so does Rise. So, going Rise against Galio, yeah, would put you in the same position, except that Galio has no damage and Rise has a lot of damage. Obviously, uh, many people will right now that um, Galio does have a lot of damage, but yeah, that's just plain not true. In the end, he can have a lot of damage, because if he gets 15 kills, then sure, he has enough gold to buy damage anyway. But in general, compared to other AP champions, he doesn't. So that's why going solo queue, Galio is kind of, yeah, I'm going to win my lane, but I'm not going to do anything after that. Anyway, we see uh, Garen, no, Graves, sorry, uh, miss quite a few last hits here. But in the end, he is 23, where the highest on both teams is 27, so I guess that's still acceptable. Galio at 17 is 
yeah, really behind, even though he is pushing the lane. Um, he is kind of staying equal with the Vigar, even though Vigar has been pushed to his turret for most of the game. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether or not you can push a lane, except that it's really dangerous with the jungler. But, yeah, that r it really doesn't matter whether you push the lane or not. It matters whether or not you get the last hits, whether or not you get the gold. And of course the experience, but the gold is way more way harder to get than um, the experience. And that's exactly what we see in the let's say lower level games. People have a lot of problems getting the last hits, and obviously that is part of what you need to learn. We see uh yeah, what's his face coming in? <laughs> and the ward is just outside the bush. That is kinda cute. And he is going middle. Fiddlesticks, that's what he's called. And it seems that um, he's going to get caught, so I'll focus on this for a little bit. Um, and he's nowhere anymore? I don't know. I don't know where he went. But we're going to see a gank from the jungler. Yep, there he is. And Vygar not responding at all, so nothing is going to come out of this. And this is kind of sad. <laughs> oh, wow. Impressed. Two flashes needed for that, but... <laughs> yeah, Vygar was really, really slow on the uptake. He did uh, do a nice flash and stun there. And with all of their skills and a little bit of tower shots. They um they got that good yeah well they got that kill basically. And yeah we saw Fiddlestick standing around next to the mid lane. I don't know why he didn't just save his teammate. It seems he would be able to, but apparently didn't want to get caught by the two. Which is probably a good idea. Anyway, the um Email said that the action would come in the end of the replay, so we're going to skip through the phases where nothing is, ha is happening anyway. And uh, we'll bring more most of the uh, the laning phase. So as long as the ward is here, we can see whether or not the jungler is going to come in. And um, hang on, let me adjust the view a little bit because they pushed the lane a little and. Um, Yeah, well, as you can see, nothing real is happening. They're just farming up, trying to get as many of the last hits as possible. Obviously, between the two, um, Graves has the better support. Because, well, Soraka can just heal you, give you mana, do everything that you could possibly want. And only they need a ward out. Yeah, the, uh, the Janna pick is a little bit um, more aggressive. And let's see what we can get out of this. So nice kill by um uh I forgot his name, Galio. But is Galio now going to die himself? Or no, 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 he's going to get out of that. Yeah, that's what I said. He has a very nice shield and um yeah, building AP on him like this guy's doing. Uh that's really not what you should do. Although I guess for the mana regen, they're still kind of, well, okay, I guess. But the better thing to do, of course, would be to go for magic resists, such as um, Banshee's Veil. And that would give you mana, health, and a magic resist. And the magic resist gives you uh, the AP you want. Obviously, you wouldn't have uh, mana regen, but yeah, you don't need a whole lot of mana regen on him anyway. So, yeah, it's now 2 and 1, because the top lane actually got a kill as well, at least I think it was the top lane. Um, the, yeah. At least Gangplank died. So, that's top lane. So, Graves, yeah, a little bit pushed to the turret here. And going to uh, get those last hits well, some of those last hits. And uh, for the rest, he will just have to uh, be satisfied with getting the experience. 
And anyway, we're going to fast forward a little bit. There is no ward out, so I cannot see the jungler coming. But I will try to keep an eye out. And here's the fight, but we cannot really see anything. But it should at least be uh, interesting to see Galio battle with these two. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, Galio hasn't been building anything tanky yet, so he can still die pretty easily. He does have the magic resist boots now. Uh, maybe he had them before, I don't know, but the boots are kind of standard issue if you have uh, stuns on the enemy team. And with the, well, the fear uh, from the jungler, Fiddlesticks, as well as the pop-up and slow and God knows what Janna brings to the table. They are kind of required anyway, so didn't really count them as being uh, magic resist so much. Obviously being a Vygar against Galio is really no fun, because all you can do is... Um, yeah, try to last hit, but you will have to push back quite a bit because Galio, while well, all of his skills are AoE, so the moment he doesn't care anymore, the moment he has enough tankiness to uh, to outlast your jungler or your ganks, you basically, well, you do have a problem because then, well, y as Vigar, you want to farm up your Q as much as possible, but. Well, Galio is going to push the lane into the turret and you're going to get like two Qs off on every wave where, well, ideally you would get six. And obviously getting six out of every wave would be uh, a little bit too good to be true. But yeah, it is uh, it is kind of hard to go up against. And I, uh, if people keep playing Galio, I think they're going to nerf him. Because that's how Riot works. They're going to nerf the champions that are played too much. And um, yeah, I don't think Shivana, although she was kind of the MVP of that tournament, is going to get played a whole lot now. Because, well, people seem to understand at least that it wasn't really Gally, uh, it wasn't really Shivana making that uh, work. The, those incredible plays. It was. Well, this, the, the player making that work. But for some reason, people don't think that AD Cannon or uh, Galio Mid take the same uh, consideration. So basically, they think that those are builds that everyone can do. And it seems there's someone here, because there, w there was a ping here. But I'm not sure, maybe the, uh, the Fiddlesticks is here. But we're going to go to bottom lane and well a heal from Soraka and nothing is happening anymore. Oh, Fiddlesticks is here. And Fiddlesticks is gonna die because the jungler is coming in. And Soraka is gonna be fine. And a nice kill there on um uh <laughs> Jenna, and then of course Fiddlesticks dies, but he was dead anyway since the jungler came in, and uh, yeah, he shouldn't have any problem with that. Anyway, blue buff should go to Vigar here, and that is indeed the case, at least it seems to be the case, because Vigar is indeed here. Um, he didn't get the blue buff. Okay, that's excellent work. In case you're wondering, no it's not. <sighs> it is really bad to not give the blue to Vygar because he needs the cooldown, he needs the mana. And although he has mana regen in his uh, innate ability, he does need the cooldown because he needs to farm up that Q. And if he cannot do that, he's probably he is not worthless, but he lacks a whole lot of damage then. Obviously, it would be way better if he could get uh, like 200 extra AP out of that. And although 200 AP might not sound like a whole big deal, uh, it is when you have a real build, not if you have one of those builds from uh, Mobile Fire or anything like that. But if you have a nice and balanced build, you will maybe have 500 AP. 
And if he can add another 200 to that, that is a super huge big deal. And a nice skill there. So Galio indeed not the build you can pick up or not the champion you can just pick up and hopefully do well with. Because he's at 80 minions now where Vygar is at 71 so he didn't really push back Vygar too much and well he has three deaths where Vygar has two. Anyhow, going for the uh, easy dragon here, because uh, with Galio dead, there is nobody in mid lane, and so they have one champion over the enemy, plus the enemy didn't ward, which you can uh, normally see from uh, well what your opponents are carrying, and when they run into the, uh, the river, I know they have a ward in this bush, because um, Jenna keeps running over to this uh, this bush and then stopping in front of the bush and just running back and that's when she places a ward. So basically you can see when they place a ward there and yeah this is not the smartest of IDs there yeah that was not good at all I don't know what he was trying to do. He knew that the fiddle six was there because he saw him. He even pinked, I think. Somebody pinked at least. And then he ran in to the well, the stupidest way possible, and still had his flash up. Because he used his flash afterwards, but the moment you hear fiddle coming in here, you should flash out the other way. So basically this way, and then Unless he has a flash up, he's not going to do anything. And are we going to see another kill? Maybe. We're not going to follow that. It seems that um, Galio didn't really understand what to build. And only now started to build something useful. And he is taking some a lot of free damage here. Yeah, the the fight in mid is uh, kind of interesting, but since we cannot see anything, it is not the most interesting to watch. And we will just keep viewing this. So we'll go over the uh, the game a little bit quicker now. Oh, some guys coming in here. A little cautious there by uh, by Graves, although he is a lot stronger than this uh, this Caitlyn one on one. But Caitlyn, yeah, she's a little more <laughs> aggressive. And no, this is not a good engage. This is a three versus one because Soraka really doesn't count as a damage champion. So <laughs> and Gangplank taking a little bit of damage. But in the end, Grace survives that. I don't know why the whole team is now engaging once again. Because huh. Gangplank is there still. And now someone is here. I mean, uh, Caitlyn obviously can get out with her um, uh, 90 caliber net, I think it's called. And a CV revealing where he is, and yeah, he's not going to die after that. Anyway, you can see the amount of damage that Caitlyn does with her ultimate. Uh, it is quite a bit if you get the damage items up, but yeah, it's not enough to kill someone from full health. Uh, by the way, it's 120 versus 160, so he kind of lost the lane there. Losing 40 minions, which is about a thousand gold, and that is why uh, Caitlyn has a, a bloodthirster, where Graves only has the BF sword. It's kind of the difference there. But yeah, Caitlyn is really easy to uh, to last it with. And yeah, she is uh, 
more patient than Graves is uh, in getting the last hit, so waiting for the minions to actually go low. And of course these kind of situations don't really help. Because he is pushed to his turret and uh, has some trouble last hitting here. And the jungler is coming in to uh, not so much take over but at least help out. Because it was a 4v2 situation. Actually 4v1 is more like uh, what it was. And yeah, these, this is not going to work. Pushing in 1v4. And now it is 5. So now all 5 of them are here. Pretty sure most of the enemy team is here still. And it would be nice to have a clairvoyance. Yeah, the whole team is waiting for something to happen. And yeah, the enemy team knows they're all here, so they're not going for it. Fortunately, Dragon isn't up, so they cannot really do that. But they could have all just walked over and done Baron. Because if you know that the whole enemy team is in bottom lane, why not go either top lane or go do Baron? Yeah, they are running away now. Seems they are going to go for Baron, or at least for some of the other lane experience. And Vygar is going top. And... Yeah, that was Dark Matter. You can see the uh, the effect because that's how the replay system works. But at least Vygar got those minions. I don't know why Vygar had his uh, teleports because for mid lane you really don't need teleports. Uh, the walk over there takes only a few seconds. The walk to uh, to top lane is a lot longer. And obviously, yeah, this cannot be saved. <coughs> Galio at least mastering the uh, the flash into ultimate. And they are going to get this turret now. Quite easily, in fact. Well, with the AD carry still alive, it is kind of easy to get that. Yeah, now the enemy will be going for dragon, I'm assuming. Or they can just push in and get this next turret. Oh, no, no, no. Mordekaiser is here. So they are going to go for Dragon, there you go. They are going to let their AD carry take it, it seems. Which is not the smartest of IDs. And... No! No, well, nothing happening. Thought that would at least result in uh, a little bit of confrontation. Oh, two guys going back, and that means that all that's left is Caitlyn. So, yeah, instead of going forward, they decide to stay back. And I don't know. If you see everyone going, uh, going forward... Oh, hang on, that was my mistake. If you see everyone going forward, then uh, or going back, then you should move forward. Or you should at least get Dragon. There's no way that Caitlyn can uh, prevent you from doing that. Of course Dragon is still up. You could see them... No, well, whatever. You could see them leaving Dragon because they got CV'd or because they couldn't do it, I don't know. I don't really understand why they uh, they didn't get it. Anyhow, another prime example why you should have Smite uh, while jungling. Because this, this might have been stolen by the enemy. Because they had two effects launched on it, the uh, Gangplank Ultimate as well as the uh, uh, something wind from Galio. Don't care what it's called. It's the one that uh, increases movement speed in the direction of the blast. But anyway, Galio was launching pretty much everything at it. 
and if you have smite that is still no problem if you don't have smites it's going to be a lot harder to last hit your dragon <laughs> with that kind of an interference anyhow uh, Graves is going back home and is going to come back in the lane in a little bit and we're going to fast forward Uh, we have a little engagement here with the ultimate from uh, Fiddlesticks opening the uh, the fight, and then a nice silence uh, on the Galio, making sure that his ultimate doesn't go all the way off. And Galio is going to die once again. Galio hasn't been playing a very good game. Because he thinks he's invulnerable or something like that. And yeah, I don't think they're going to catch up with this guy. Although Udyr might have a good uh, chance. But still, it is going to be hard. Some guys are coming in from the top here. And they may actually... Oh, nice stun there. That was exactly what they needed. Come on, get this turret. Send the Galio to the turret. Yeah, too late. Anyhow. <laughs> Still tanking the turret shots. But anyway, they're going to uh, to now go back, all of them. They did uh, win a pretty big team fight there. It is now 14 to 7. And even though the, um, the Fiddlesticks ultimate landed on everyone, it didn't really do anything. Because he only has, well, this as AP, which is basically uh, 76 ability power. And let's see his total. His total is 105. So, yeah, not really impressed by the amount he has, and that's why uh, everyone just completely stayed alive. Everyone just stayed alive, even though they were all in the middle of his ultimates, and uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, top lane has some experience, bottom lane has some experience, and we're just going to fast forward until we see the next team fight. So everyone is getting around Baron at this moment. And there we go, Udir getting focused by the enemies and Graves coming to his rescue, but not actually having to do a whole lot because, well, Udyr was going to get out of that anyway. Did that really cancel the ultimate on... Uh <laughs> that would be really good. I think it did. I think it cancelled the ultimate on... Um, on Galio. So the stun from, uh, from Vygar. Anyway, enemy team is going to push mid lane, and since there is a ward on Baron, they don't have to worry about that for now. But, yeah, Graves is uh, just farming up a little more. A little more is always better in, uh, when it goes for minions. So 176 <laughs> versus 250, which means he definitely lost a whole lot of gold in his lane. But obviously, Caitlyn can well, still farm in the late game. Well, better. Because she just has, well, very good skills and very good, well, a very good setup basically to farm. Well, as does Graves in the late game, but in the early game, yeah, uh, Caitlyn does outrange him, which means that he will have a little more trouble in actually getting the uh, the last hits there. Anyway, it's time to do something here. It's probably, it would be nice if they picked up another dragon and if they went for Baron. And it seems that Caitlyn is happy just farming up this little minion wave. And in the meantime, 
letting the enemy team have another Baron. A uh, dragon. So no uh <laughs> no silence going off on the uh the the drain from fiddlesticks. And well eventually this becomes a two for one trade. And yeah, it's not really smart to go for Baron at this point. Because the ultimate from Galio, well, unless it was cancelled like a minute ago in the top brush. Oh, I don't know how m how long ago that was, by the way. But it is still up. He hasn't used it. So if he can get that off, he can easily steal this. And this is definitely when you stop attacking Baron and... Oh, who got it? Oh, blue the blue team got it. And this was really, really risky, by the way. But apparently Galio didn't have his ultimate up. And apparently this guy wants to die. <laughs> or not, it seems that... Um, yeah, since Caitlyn was still there, he wasn't too worried. Anyhow, we're going to scroll a little bit through this. And um, we will see what happens in the end game. Don't know how much time is still left. We're about 60% through, 70% probably. So yeah, they should be fighting now, obviously, because, well, as long as they can keep fighting, or as long as they have Baron buff, they should keep fighting. Uh, the problem is that the enemy team is getting a little bit tanky. It seems that especially the Gangplank has quite a lot of HP. And that might pr prove to be a problem, because Fygar can only do so much damage, and... Uh, Mordecai really has a limit to the amount of damage he does. Although that one is based, I think, on a percentage of the enemy health. So, with his ultimate. And the only one that doesn't really have a, s a set limit is uh, Graves. But Graves will be able to do, do quite a bit of damage if he actually gets in the team fight. But the problem is that if they build a little bit of armor, he will have a lot of trouble actually getting the damage out. So the whole team is here now. And we will have to see whether or not they can actually make anything out of this. Because it seems that... Um, yeah, that the whole enemy team is here as well. So Galio is going to ult and disrupt it again. Or he cancelled it early, I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, they get two easy kills because of that. And um, yeah, third easy kill because of the stun. And I think a fourth easy kill because of the stun. Yeah, the Vygar stun really powerful here. And yeah, it always is really powerful, but... Especially if you can get two kills out of it. And they are going to push in. The Baron buff has worn off. But that doesn't matter. They're going to take out the steward anyway. And... Yeah, Janna is not going to stop them. And Janna is the only one still alive. So they are going to go for this turret plus inhibitor. And... Oh, Janna losing her oracles there. Yeah, I thought that would have happened with the uh, uh, the f the previous turret when she was standing right here, and nobody uh, actually stunned her or well got her. But eventually they did get her, and yeah, she should have just backed off and hoped that she could take out the minions. And yeah, although they they take out Udir here, they do lose. The fiddlesticks. <laughs> and are we actually going to see two more kills here? Because it seems that Gangplank doesn't have enough damage 
to do anything. Nice stun again from Vygar, coming in a little bit late. But yeah, it's now really time to get away from this. And oh, a nice heal from Soraka, but is it going to be enough? No stun from Vygar this time. Yes, it is enough for, well, that kill. And then obviously this is uh, not going to be a kill because, well, Caitlyn is just uh, really mobile like that. Anyway, they got, um, well, a turret, well, two turrets, an inhibitor and a nexus turret. So, yeah, I would say that's good. So now all they need to do is, uh, uh, well, group up again and push this lane a little bit. But it's not really necessary. But group up, just push one of the lanes. It doesn't need to be the mid lane. Preferably, it wouldn't be the mid lane. Because then, if you push one of the side lanes, you can take out either this turret or this turret really easily. Because the enemy has to take care of the the super minions. So there's not a whole lot of well pressure on them to do anything. The enemy is the one that needs to defend. And they really don't need to attack, it's just that it's really easy. And as you can see, the enemy is just, just not able to... Uh, uh, hang on. The enemy is just not able to defend that at all. And the same goes for the uh, turret in the top lane. It's just impossible to defend at this point. Because there are super minions here and... Yeah, the only one that can really deal with the super minions is uh, Caitlyn. Because Caitlyn has a lot of AD and AD takes care of super minions. AP not so much. So magic damage not very good versus the super minions. And we are going to fast forward a little bit again uh, while we see the team getting ready for Baron I think. Because Baron will be coming up. There are no wards out on the map which is kind of strange seeing how much money they have. Because it is 27 to 12, and they should be placing wards all over the place. But yeah, well, fire, uh, fire car, come on. Uh, Graves is going to push into this uh, bottom turret and is going to actually get it, I think. Um, yeah, he used his uh, Quicksilver Sash to get out of it this time. But they are going to get the turrets. And they might as well just go in for the inhibitor. Because nobody is going to stop them at all. There we go. Easy peasy. And then, um, yeah, they get the second Nexus turrets. They get the whole enemy team and then they get the Nexus. Yep, there we go. So in the end, it's kind of easy. <laughs> but, yeah, it was kind of a hard-fought battle in the beginning, especially because none of the lanes really won. But, yeah, that was... Yeah, I think the Vygar won his lane pretty much because he should have lost really heavily against uh, Galio. Galio is so strong against uh, casters. Um, AP casters that is. So, um, bottom lane, yeah, he lost that lane. At least he didn't die, so that's good. And uh, top lane, to be honest, top lane jungle, I have no idea. But it seemed that Udir had a good game. And, um, well, Graves had a good game as well. He did a lot of damage, <laughs> but he did lose his lane. But I guess that's the way it goes against Caitlyn. You cannot, well, you basically cannot get a... a uh, go up against her. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Choo-choo.